Hello everybody, SPSO here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Now, I've been playing this on a separate profile, just because I wanted to have fun without recording for a bit. Uh, and, uh, this game gets really good, so... <laughs> Let's go for it. So, if it, you'll notice that the game is running a bit smoother. Um, I, I changed multiple settings, and also there's been a few updates, so... We're gonna explore the common room first, actually. See what all we can find. Um, is there anything in here? Any loot? Any at all? Revelia? Not revealing anything? Other than something weird down there. What in the... This common room has a bathroom? I was, I was in the... On, on my side profile, I have the Gryffindor uh, common room. Oh, wow. A solid curtain. Alright, fair. <laughs> Anything hidden in here? Not that my magical eye can see. Uh, I, I do like the way you can just bump into the doors and then it opens. Really smooth and satisfying. At least to me, I don't, I don't know, I doubt that's for anywhere, anyone else. Uh, oh, chest. Level three lock. Ah, I'm not even sure how you open those. I'm pretty sure it's a Aloha more. <laughs> All right, let's go the fuck upstairs. Oh yeah, before I forget, uh, I should probably actually show um, the Ravenclaw sorting ceremony. Um, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in Ravenclaw. I completely forgot that the, the sorting ceremony didn't make it into the first video. I'll cut it in now. Sorry for everyone. Uh, I had to immediately start recording again because... Uh, after that first episode, it suddenly just put me into this cutscene and I couldn't get out, so I'm not sure how long this bit is going to be, but it'll probably be in the beginning of the first second episode. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Why does this room look smaller than the normal? Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. The sorting hat. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we're gonna have to sort real quick, and then... Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. Uh... I, say, I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Hmm. 
Uh, sorting hat will will take your choice into account when sorting you into a house into your house. Uh. Oh yeah, it's I know what suggestion be right call. So, what I did before I got this game was I took the Pottermore quiz, which is a thing you can link to your account. And I linked that to my account, it gave me my wand, my house, my Patronus, which, of course, they don't have the Patronus in this, so I have to pick a different Patronus. But, yeah, it saved the house. So this is the house that it gave me for the thing. And this is the house I'm going to go for for this playthrough, the Ravenclaw. So, uh, let's do this. We're going to be Ravenclaw, this, this one. I got an achievement for that. The sort who makes an entrance. <laughs> I like I like that name for the achievement. <laughs> oh, loading screen. You belong in Ravenclaw. I think I have a setting on this, like causing some weird brain effect. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Really? Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before class begins tomorrow. I said, I know you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. This headmaster is an asshole. <laughs> an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's oh. quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Oh, so she actually does... There's different dialogue for when you meet the different Who house lived entrances. longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. That's an interesting way to enter the place. All right. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Okay, so yeah, there's, there's how I made it into the Ravenclaw thing. So... Yeah, let's continue on. <laughs> Before I forget something else. I completely forgot that I needed to add that into this video. <laughs> I'm just so excited to play this. I didn't get to play this the last few days. Because the game was being weird. Whoa. Really? Can't go that way? Or is that just the girls' dorms? I suppose some introductions are in order. Like, what is over here? Hmm. This is very interesting. I love the design of this. Whoa, that's cool looking. I can't fully see what's down there, but that's cool looking. What is up here? Gryffindor Tower. 
Gryffindor Tower was interesting, but Ravenclaw Tower is... Whoa, hello. Oh god, something big is up here. <laughs> Oh, I can't even go this way. Alright, never mind. I'm guessing that overlooks like a massive area because my fucking game is having lag spikes. Holy shit. Yeah, I've had I've had that happen. Uh I had that happen when I was on top of the uh the owlery. It was fucking death up there. So don't expect me to go up to the owlery and this fucking playthrough <laughs> until I can figure out how to get rid of more of the lag. Lock level two. Yeah, notice these doors. Nothing else from the looks of it. Also, wait, were there guards guarding? Oh, anyone can go into the boys' dorm, but then there's fucking guards there for the girls. Alright. Who are you? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Disney seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Disney is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wiganwell potion? It is. <laughs> Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Huh. That's odd. Uh, he's quite knowledgeable. Professor he Fig is. does know a great deal about, um different forms of magic well i hope he told you about more than wig and weld you've lots to catch up on i'm sure uh, this is one of the things that i find very interesting because these characters are actually really interesting because a lot of them come from like different areas so i'm very curious i've never met this student who the hell are you uh do most students grow their own ingredients is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients oh yes in fact our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Fair. Uh, isn't Hufflepuffs... Isn't it Hufflepuffs who like plants? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a raisin claw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. That pun. I both love and hate it. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. I'm hoping that the game isn't too quiet for you guys. I'm actually going to boost it slightly. Oh my god, if my mouse would go over there. Thank you. So now it should be a little bit louder. I'm just trying to make sure that my voice isn't too loud and the game isn't too loud. Because last video I recorded, my voice was loud as shit and I don't know why. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Ah! That is not how that... Who are you? Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Sure. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure huh. to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. <laughs> I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. 
You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Uh, I find stars fascinating. I do find stars very fascinating, Ed Norman. I, I, I do find I them very fascinating. On my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Yep, these are definitely raven claws. All right. This is very weird for me. I don't consider myself that much of a raven claw. Though I don't see, I do, I do have some raven claw qualities. Though I think I have more, like a mix of raven claws, Slytherin, and freaking uh, Gryffindor qualities. So I'm not entirely sure. You're about to lose common room. Nope. Fuck you. I didn't realize that was the right moment. Oh, the flu thing. Are you playing a prank? Or are you crushing on that girl? Watch this. Yep, you're playing a prank. That's <laughs> dung bomb. <laughs> that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm looking forward to my first day. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. <laughs> I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. I can guarantee you everyone knows that you did it. Hey there. You are standing hey, right out in the open. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Alright. I'm guessing I go down here. Yep. Professor Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Whoa. What is it? It is a wizard's a field thing. guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Fair. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Gladly. I fucking love this game. It's so good. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your oh, magic. Oh, a bit of lag and loads in the tower. yourself about wizarding lore. 
Yeah, how far away is the trigger is the trigger for uh, this specific one? Because I have found that the first note you find is different depending on what house you choose. Like the field guide when I was a student. Oh wait, it's probably gonna be up here. I'm pretty sure there's one just floating in front of his head. Why yep. don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. The bust created an honor of, of Ravenclaw House. It resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Uh, you've just unlocked the field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges are appears here. Uh, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Alright, alright. Fair. Push escape. This is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges. Increases your level and power. Alright. Your field guide tracks your current challenges progress. Your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Alright. Uh, collect your first guide page. Unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you can unlock through throughout your adventure will appear here. Search field guide pages. Select the field guide pages to continue. Sorry about that, I had to call for a sec. Each challenge has tiers with has tiers. Special words unlock at each tier you complete. From uh from appearances to critical upgrades. Ah. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you've unlocked. Alright. Pretty sure I can't even do anything with that yet, so I'm just gonna leave that. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more Bit of lag. Like that, inside and outside of the castle. Uh, hey, ma'am. No time to waste. You have classes to attend. I have a fucking tickle in the back of my throat. Hold on. All right. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Mm. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You've discovered a flu flames. Uh, fast tra flu flames fa fast travel point. Uh, you can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. God, I wish I wasn't sick right now. Jesus Christ. Uh, Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. And includes the house common rooms and the great hall. Uh, select select the grand staircase to continue. Uh, in this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. I see. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouse. Uh, select the Library Annex region to continue. 
Uh, Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flame. For you. Use A and D to rotate the map. Fast travel to Central Hall Flu Flames. Alright. Oh yeah, they've been, they've been releasing some, like, small updates to the game. And I swear it's been improving, like, load times and shit. So this probably won't take very long to load in. It's been just small, no change log updates, just probably fixing like bugs and shit. Either that or my game or my fucking game has decided, hey, I'm gonna download like three different times on your Steam. <laughs> Which has happened before, which is annoying. Minecraft's done it before. <laughs> Just like continuously updated and then never actually updated until I had to reinstall the fucking thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, loaded. And there we here go. we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs yes. lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh, I see a page. Always something happening here. I don't think I get that yet, though. the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I like how we never touched King's Cross Station, and then she's just like, this is our King's Cross Oh, well, hello. Big? I don't think it's supposed to be there. That should be all for now. You'll be expected oh. to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts. I was supposed to walk over here faster. And I'd like My to bad. Be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Ah. What exactly is Defense Against Can the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Sorry about that slight interruption, everyone. Um, my sister needed something. She came over for something, I, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Very. Thank you, Professor Thank Weasley. you, Professor. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least yeah, showing you the basics. Into head. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, I'm afraid there is. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna tell her. I'm not gonna talk. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. 
Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Huh. Good luck today. And remember oh. to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, I thought you professor. were supposed to piss off now. Come and find me <laughs> in the classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I thought your mother was nice. She is, but it's my baby sister. Hello, Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Uh, you did, sir. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so I'd that say. I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Oh. Oh, yeah, this. Uh, press M to open the map. Uh, this represents main quests. Complain main quests will further story unlock new features. And grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In this case, in these case, in this case, uh, in this in these cases, you will need to be the required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be learned by completing professor professor assignments or using or as quest rewards. Uh, track quest with right click. All right. Uh, do I feel like dueling first or? No, yeah, let's duel. Let's go to Dark Arts. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Alright, um, which way does I want me to go? Ah, oh, let me take this way. Alright. Cast Charmed Compass V. Oh. Okay, that's cool. I think I completely forgot about this when I was playing before. <laughs> is this the Dark Arts classroom? Or is this the Charms one? I think it's the Dark Arts. Stupid. Nope, a little bit of lag and loads the classroom. To be fair, this classroom does have a lot of props. I had to mention a lot of spell speed going on. Professor Hackett! 
Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Uh, I'd also imagine extreme skill. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially uh -huh. in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Levioso. The other levi levitation charm. I wonder if we ever l learn when Guardian Leviosa. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> that falls over. Let us begin with a basic cast. Basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Good. Now, well done. And ass kicked. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll yes. start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Levioso, good form. I know. Get your ass handed to you, bitch. Come on, I'll, gi I'll give you a shot. Get your ass kicked. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I wonder what her entire dialogue would be if you like kept him on the fucking I platform. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel huh. is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Fair, All fair. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I'll talk to Shallow real quick. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more mm. like I was dueling an expert. <laughs> Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Yeah, Don't I kicked your ass so fucking easily. To be so <laughs> deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. 
Uh, at this point, yeah, I have had my fair share of wand combat. I've bought all, all statues. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds very interesting. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Ah. Okay, so we have a we have a dueling club to go find as well. Nope. Level two. Nice. But I am out of time for this episode. Sadly. <laughs> uh because apparently that all took 35 minutes. Alright. I don't know how long the actual video is going to be. I'm going to edit it up real quick. But, uh, yeah. I'm out of time. So, I hope everyone... Ha <clears throat> what was that? Oh, is that you? I, th that statue... I, their eyes blink and they talk. Alright. Fair, I guess. Magic. Anyway. I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button. Slay those comments. It contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Livestream. Or whatever I do next. Peace, guys!